Hey guys, happy Easter Sunday, even though it's almost over. But as you can see, this might surprise you. You're like, hey, oh, what's up? You're in my work on clothes and it's Sunday night. Well, it's actually Sunday evening, but um, I'm just on such a roll, feeling so good about everything that I came home from, we went to church, or excuse me, let me clarify. I went to church. We'll mix up with my parents, not beating me in the right place. So, went to church, went to brunch, and then we went to celebrate uh, Easter birthdays at my family. So we have like three birthdays in one month in April. So, we went over to celebrate birthdays together. And, let me just say, so my friend Laura left this morning. Um, her uh, limo picked her up at like 8.30 and that's when I left right away for church. So I actually think, I actually think I forgot to have breakfast, which is a no-no. But um, I have not eaten. I was in the midst of amazing Easter brunch food and birthday food and I had nothing. I'll tell you what, what the one thing that I did have, but it's even following might sound warped when I tell you when I say it's it's really following what I'm doing um, so we went to brunch and what did I have I had oysters which I love but there was this really awkward moment I, I tend to do a lot of these actually those of you guys that have been watching me for a while realize that this is not surprising these are my sunglasses it's not my awkward moment I just saw them on the counter and I wanted to put them on um, <laughs> so So um, I, I got this big plate of oysters. I got oysters, they had tilapia, but even though they said roasted tilapia, I could see it had butter on it. And since I'm avoiding, it's not about the fat, it's about avoiding the, the dairy, right? Um, so I saw the butter on there and I'm like, I, I gotta watch it with the tilapia. So I got some tilapia and then they had um, smoked salmon. So I got a ton of smoked salmon, oysters, horseradish. They really did a lot of the uh, sauce. For it. So I really had more horseradish than sauce and then I got some lemons. I go to like have this big oyster and slurp it down and instead of the oyster slurping down, I literally got the biggest, hugest chunk of horseradish that went right to my throat. And so here we are at brunch with like 10 people in my family and I'm like, <coughs> you know, and they're all like, what's wrong with her? And I couldn't breathe and I was like, my, my eyes were tearing and it was really awkward. The people at the table next to me are like, we have the check, please. Thank you. Yeah, it was not really not pretty. So had oysters, had a lot of the smoked salmon. I had no bread. I had no dessert. And and you guys know how most brunches are. You know they have like a big huge buffet table of um, pastries and cookies and cakes and ice cream and yada yada yada. And usually when I go there on an occasion like this, you know I'd have one piece of cake or whatever. But I'm like, I just. The temptation was not there because I'm so on a roll, I'm feeling so good, I'm feeling so proud of myself that why would I, I mean, what's the point? Is it really that satisfactory, the word I'm looking for? Is it really that satisfying to have a piece of cake or is it more satisfying to like notice my waistline getting smaller and smaller every day and feel myself getting stronger every day and to see the muscle that I'm putting on and so on? to say the latter. So we left and then we went back to uh, my brother's house for, uh, you know, opening presents and they had chocolate cake from Portillo's. Now if you're from Chicago, you know that Portillo's has like the best cake on the planet and you want to know why it's like really, really good and I just say the word I hate. It's really moist <laughs> because they use mayonnaise in their cake. Isn't that bizarre? But it's really, really good. And I bet you if you Google that, you'll see that that's like a cool, typical thing to make chocolate cake with. I had no chocolate cake, and then she had all of these um, cupcakes uh, with icing on it. And I, I kind of started to feel rude, but I'm like, no, you know, I'm not going to have this. I have not been having food with flour in it. Um, and again, it wasn't that I said to myself, I'm going to go gluten free or flour free. I just realized that I've been doing it, so why not go with it? You know, if it's if I'm feeling good from it and it's working for me and it's not like killing me, you know, and I'm getting plenty of carby kind of stuff with my oatmeal and my vegetables, then I'm going to go with it. So, um, now this is where I think you guys are going to laugh at me because I'm going to say I stuck with my no flour thing, no gluten, if you will, whatever, but I just had um, some of the frosting off of the top of um, 
a cupcake and um, it's basically probably just high fructose corn syrup. So don't get me wrong, I, it, I wasn't bullying myself. It just was a taste of sugar, but it, I didn't have coffee, I didn't have coffee with cream, I didn't, you know, I didn't have anything else. Um, and now I also have all of these little take home things with chocolates in it. And I'm not coming home to pig out on it. I came home and look what I put on. I put on my workout clothes. I'm trying to show you what else I have. Oh, I, my other gifts are over there. This doesn't, oh wait, maybe it will, I'll show you. I got a boatload of my favorite candy, which is, this is very difficult for me to not have an intimate relationship with right now. I love these. Um, how many calories in each one? I'm just curious. One piece. Oh, they're not bad. Only 150 calories. I don't feel so guilty in the past. However, first ingredient, milk chocolate. It's not about the chocolate, it's about the milk. Um, we'll think about that later. I wonder if they make Cadbury eggs with not milk chocolate. Anyway, so I put on my workout clothes. I'm just in the mood to get my sweat on. And I think what I'm going to do is finally try my Billy Blanks, this new cardio, which comes with the crap, these gloves where, if you can see this, you can hook on. I'm going to have to figure this out. You can you hook on. I just dropped one of them. You hook on your um, bands. And then you hook, if I'm correct, so you hook the bands onto your shoe and the thing, so you're gonna have resistance when you're doing, you know, your punch is gonna be pulling, so it's gonna add resistance. So I'm really interested to see how much more of a sweat fest this does. Um, so I'm gonna try this out right now. Ooh, I know if my friend was here, hopefully he's not watching this video, I get like a mental one of those. We're working, a, we're working on not saying the word try, because really, if you think about it, I agree. You can't try to do something. You either do it or you don't. So I just said, I'm going to try this. I'm not going to try it. I'm going to do it, right? So here, just for you, I'm slapping myself. Look, that almost hit my eye. So I'm going to go do that. And um, I've got some roasted vegetables going on in the oven. I'm going to have a salad and some tilapia of my own and get ready to kick ass this week. There you go, Mr. Flo. Mr. Flo. Feeling better? Shoulder, I cannot tell you, is like. 99.9% .9 better. I was talking to Laura this weekend and I'm like, I used to not be able to put my arm up on the chair around me or to do uh, overhead press or anything. I'm already back to doing overhead press with, I'd say, I can do the first set with 15s and then I have to go down to 12s. Um, I'm not pushing it and trying to go up to 20s again yet, but that's a big deal because in December, you guys, I could barely do it with a five pound weight. What do you say about that? So I gotta go. You guys, I hope you had a wonderful Easter, um, and um, have a wonderful week. The weather's beautiful here, and let's just remember to get up every day and start the day with what you're thankful for. Seriously. People too often get stressed out and worry about everything, and it's like, look around you. I have like 500,000 things in here I can say what I'm thankful for. I love my big coffee mugs. I love my house. I love my statues. I love my couch. I love my throws. I love my workout clothes. That just rhymed. I love my new Tybo DVDs. It's actually called Billy Blank's PT 24-7. On that note, I gotta go. OMG! This vlog is under 10 minutes. <laughs>